Hi everybody, today I have my neighbor Kay Johnston. She is one of those people who has an eye. Um, and so I have enlisted her help um, be in making a wreath, a fall wreath, because I made a wreath for Christmas last year and it turned out to be too full of stuff. And she has the perfect touch. So Kay, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Um, we're going to make an autumn wreath. Actually, let me explain. I'm going to do a wreath over the fireplace in a big empty spot. And um, I want to be able to interchange or switch out, I guess is a better term, uh, decor so that I can take off the fall stuff, put on the Christmas stuff. That way it should, in theory, be easier. Um, and so today I've got the fall Things. And these are just things I had left over from last year, so I didn't really buy anything. I've got some burlap. It's about this thick. Sorry, Kay, I'm putting it in front of your face. Fine. Um, I've got some ribbon. And Kay brought some ribbon as well, and she's also going to teach us... Yes, wired ribbon. Good. She's going to teach us how to do a bow, because that's one thing I really don't know how to do. I've got some pine cones we collected last time we visited a child. In Colorado, I've got some lavender that you saw me, or you will see me, dry. I have these that I bought from Hobby Lobby. They were just kind of the right colors. And then I've got these as well. These are all plastic. Lavender is real. These are plastic. But again, very autumn-y colors. And then I have these, and I will take one out and show you. These come from a pompous grass plant that I have out in front of the coach house. And I figured there's got to be some use for them. They're so pretty. So that's what we're going to use. And the wreath, Kay very wisely recommended we stand it up. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Kay? Why do we need to stand it up? The reason to stand it up or put it on an easel rather than working on a flat surface is that you can get a better three-dimensional mm -hmm. finished product okay. when it's working, when you're working flat. Okay. That's that simple. All right, I still got some little doodads down here, so they don't get covered up. Yeah, they'll get covered up. All right, so let's begin. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need some wire. More wire. Yes. We don't want these all the same lengths. So just so you know, we didn't just kind of come up with this. We're not just starting. She kind of played with it a little bit while I was manipulating the camera. And she came up with, of course, a lovely design. Uh, let's do, hey Marcia, if you'll cut a piece of wire and then I'll get this kind of going. We need to probably wire these two like that together. Then we will wire it to the wreath. This just makes it easier. Okay. Now, is that going to be long enough of a piece? We're going to take these two pieces. Which we've wired together. Which are wired together. And then we're going to take a longer piece of wire and wire these to the wreath. I see, okay. We want to make sure we take the price tags off. Yeah, price tags Because that's what kind of tack, that only works for many pearls. That's right. And I wonder how many people in our audience even know who many pearls was. Yes. That might be a bummer thing, Kay. Yeah, well, I am old. Yeah, so, so am I. It's okay. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking. We can attach this somehow. Here, Marsha, how's from a from your perspective? I like the I like it. What do you want me to change? Mm, I was not sure of the this pointing down. Does there need to be more of it? Maybe. Sorry, and we can add. Okay. We can add. I wasn't sure. I'm so sorry. I just okay. tried to take Kay's eye take out. It, take it tight, okay? As tight as you can. Okay, now we're going to bring this down, bring the wire down, and we're going to wrap it here too. Oh, I see. Okay. Because this is so big and it's rather heavy. Yeah. 
and it really doesn't have a lot of compartments because we can cut it or hide it. I would never have thought of this. I'm so glad I did think of consulting you. It's not a... Okay, let's look at... Oh, I think it's looking kind of fun. It is looking um, fun. Look at that. Marcia suggested we need some more of these down here. Yeah, and a little bit more of it. What are these called? So you're just tucking them into the I, where it's existing where we wire. have it fairly tight with um, different pieces wired in, mm -hmm. and and then you can also just kind of tuck them into your wreath itself too. Right, because this is the just adds a little bit more um, interest, I think. Okay, see those three add a little. Touch yeah. there. What do you think? Lovely. Okay. Absolutely okay lovely. That. Yep. Now, let me... Are we going to do some on the bottom? Going that way or just this I, way? We can. It, but to see, that's my tendency to over overdo. So you well, go with your and gut. what we might want to do before we do any more over here is make our bow. Okay. And um, we can make the bow and then also... Um, just take some long lengths of the ribbon. It's not attached to the bow and kind of work it in. So while I was fiddling with both cameras, Kay was fiddling with things to go on the wreath. And she has come up with a lovely idea for, and show us where it's going to go. Okay. So what, what you did I, is you looped it and then you just kind yes. of wrap the tail around it. I took it. burlap that's, I don't know, maybe that's five inches, six inches wide. It is not wired, so it's very soft. You can't make a big loop with it or it'll just be limp. Right. So I just made three loops. Okay. Tied it up tight as I could with wire. And it has a shorter tail and a longer tail. Gotcha. Now, I also Oops. took a little piece of this and I stripped all the lower leaves so they wouldn't be all sticking out in here. Gotcha. It's just crammed into this wreath. And then we are going to just kind of wire oh, that's gonna look that so pretty. in there. And then we can decide if we want the tail just to be... Right. We might attach it up or just let it be. So we're gonna put that in there. Okay. So we're thinking Last about just year. putting it right in there. It's it's not a big crazy bow. It's just kind of yeah, a it's just well, kind of nice. What do you think about that there, Marsha? You gorgeous. like this? You like that location? Yes, very okay. much so. Yeah, it it shouldn't be level with this one. Mm-hmm. You wanna keep it as asymmetrical as you can. And then we've got that piece hanging that's dovetailed. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got that little piece hanging. I love it. Um, I feel like this needs a little something. I think it needs a little something in the middle. Yes, I do. About... And I also think if we could take this and attach it right there. Mm-hmm. Just like right there. So that it folds. It gives it a little more dimension. Okay, so they can see. Well, I it's just, just wrapped it. I just wrapped it around a little piece of branch, tied it into a knot, and then just kind of poofed it out a little bit. This is now, what I mean by the eye. When I mean, you when you do this beautiful composition. mesh with this, you kind of make this ragged. Right. You can leave it ragged. Mm -hmm. Or you can trim I like it off. Ragged. Okay. Now I feel like we need something right there, but I'm not sure what we need. We don't want to introduce anything new. No. No. I don't know. What do you think about that in there? 
It's good to me. Uh, or, or, wait, I have another idea. Let me oh, me. yes. Let's, okay. Here's, here's a, oh, yeah, yeah. A little skinny one. It's smooth. What if we got it coming out this direction? Yes. Put it in here. I'm just kind of jamming it into this um, bright vine wreath somewhere where it'll stay. It's kind of hard to get it in there. I like that piece there. That's lovely. I'm just tying them onto the mm -hmm. stems. And that stem I'm not feeling real good about, so I'm gonna take it up through the pumpkin itself because it might cause it to break off. Gotcha. Yeah, these pumpkins are real. Mm -hmm. I use these skinny ones for, oh, that's cute. Yeah, just hang a few like that. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's okay. a very good idea. Um, I use these pine cones in my fire starters. And I have some fire starters right over here. They don't look like much. They've been sitting out in the weather for over a year. But you take pine needles and wax and pine cones and a little paper cup and put them in the fireplace under some kindling and they are actually pretty darn effective. It's a lot easier than trying to get a fire started just with kindling. Okay. Okay, so, so now we're going to tie it on. Well, if we think, um, let's hold this. Uh, let me hold it up, Marcia. Maybe you can get a you and see if you kind of like the pine cone thing. I love it. It's okay. very quirky. Perfect. I love it. Here's where I'm going to tie. I'm going to just tie it. I'm going to tie them to the a couple of pieces of branch in here. The, mm -hmm. um, don't quite need all that piece, but we'll take it off and finish. So I brought Kay over to help me with this, obviously because of the eye, but mostly I was envious of her ribbon tying skills. <laughs> uh, but I'm so glad that she helped me with the wreath too, because it is absolutely breathtaking. And there's the finished product. My husband just helped me hang it. Now I think it looks spectacular. Thank you to Kay Johnston for her wonderful talent. And for teaching me how to do that, although I have to say, I don't, I don't think all the teaching in the world gives you that, that eye that she has. That's just something you're born with.